How's it going guys, it's Tactics HD here, being episode 44 of my NHL 13 Hockey of the Team Road Glory series. As you can see right here, making a trade offer on Eric Carlson, 15,000 pucks and a contract. This is actually a my friend, he said he had two Carlsons, didn't need the one, and he seen that I actually sold, uh, sorry not sold, but traded my other Carlson away. Figured he'd trade me one of his two, and give me a deal obviously with 15k. As you can see, I also bought a Kessler there for 20k pucks. I really like Kessler, I've always wanted one, and after the trades I had extra pucks. Also on Eric Johnson, uh, I, I, once I like figure out which defenseman from the trade I'm going to use, I want to pair up Eric Johnson with Jack Johnson, I think that's going to be a really good pairing, at least that's what I've heard. As well, guys, right here I bought a Henrik Zetterberg uh, at center for just under 45k, so I also want to try Zetterberg out. Being a Wings fan, I have some pucks, I figured after the trade day I was just going to spend basically all my pucks and try out a whole bunch of different combinations on a bunch of different lines so chemistry right now isn't too good but basically I'm just trying out the different players also got Kipper and Net trying them out I got him on that trade day for the start of the week Ben Bishop with some 6k pucks as you guys can see it was one nothing there I scored a goal tied up at 1-1 and unfortunately right there he scores another goal late in the third to make it 2-1 and then with less than a minute left he comes down scores another one basically just make sure I'm put out of it making it 3-1 to one. and still less than a minute left in the third he scores another goal so in the last minute he scored three goals uh, I just kind of fell apart there at the end don't really know what happened but uh, lost the game so as you guys can see I wasn't a big fan of Buffalo again 80 skating uh, really wasn't fast enough for me I know he's got a good shot good hitting but just not really my style of player so I decided to replace him with Eric Johnson put an Islander card on him that I actually got from a free pack so pairs up nice there with Jack Johnson who's already on the Islanders as well I had Mike Green I uh, wasn't really happy with Mike Green. He's actually regularly a right defenseman. And because I had Carlson, really didn't need Green. As well, the one I had was a left defenseman. So I already had enough left defensemen. So I sent him to the trade pile. Right here, I'm buying an assistant captain card for 950. That's actually a steal. At the time, the rest were going for at least 1500, most of them for 2K. So got really lucky getting that. Right here, guys, just the trade pile of all the cards I didn't sell from the trade day, as well as the cards that I got from the trade day I wasn't a big fan of. Still have the Damian Brunner because I'm waiting to uh, do the trade with the person that I rejected it. It was actually uh, one of my friends on my uh, friends list who just sent me that trade that I was going to do, if you guys remember, the start of the week Simmons. I think like a Heatley, a Bomeister, and a Camilleri. So uh, I just have to wait for him basically to get that deal done. But right here, guys, in our next game, went up there 1 0. Nice goal for Sadine. Carlson getting a point his first game, passing it over to Gagne, making it 2 0. Really liked Carlson, so I'm glad I was able to get one after I traded away my other. Right there, scored another goal, making it 3 0. So we're playing pretty good in this game. Five minutes left in the third. Uh, I think that was Ryan Kessler scoring one of his first goals for the team. I think it might have been his first. And then right there, scores another. Yeah, it actually bounced behind the goalie. So that was really good. As you can see, or, uh, Kopitar got two goals, Kessler goal and assist and Lightning got the shutout. I think Kipper was fatigued after that uh, first game he played where he lost. So, anyway guys, right here, going into another game. And our team's looking pretty good. I still have to make some minor adjustments, you guys will see. Uh, once I sell the players in the trade pile, as well as add a couple players, move some guys around. But uh, right there, bad play by me to pass it to him. Then I, there, I do it again, which really just annoyed me. I did it twice in a row. Luckily, though, Gretzky's able to find the back of the net late in the second, make it 2-1. And right there, good chance from Duchesne. And then somehow Gretzky finds the pucks, makes it 2-2. Went to OT, no goals. Here in the shootout, Zetterberg with a nice goal, go, making us go up by one. So basically, right here, I had to stop him to make sure that uh, we get the win. We already He scored two, and I was my third. So basically, right here, was for the game, just trying to follow him. Went to the right there. He probably could have scored, but luckily he deked back, and I was able to follow him and uh, make the big save. So got a good win there. Gretzky and Lettinen were our two stars of the game, first and second. So after that, guys, I actually went to the trade pile to see what I sold. As you can see, I sold all those change team cards. I'd been waiting for a while to sell them. Uh, basically, they were really low. They were less than a thousand. I knew they were going to come back up, and obviously they did. Sold most of them for a thousand. The Chicago for two K and the Washington, I believe, for fifteen hundred. Right here, guys, is my friend uh, re re signed me that offer. I declined. I went to accept it, but I was like a second late, if you guys remember from watching the trade day. So, start of the week Simmons, Camilleri, Heatley, and Bomeister. Uh, it's a pretty fair trade. It's pretty much the exact value of Burner at the time. So, I thought it was a good deal. I also figured Simmons could be a really nice uh, third line right winger to uh, replace Pavelski. And as you guys can see right now in the trade pile, this is who I have left Pavelski, Petrolangelo, Burns, Buffalgan, Bomeister, and Camilleri. So, I mean, I got 25k pucks, plus that in the trade pile. I just sold Camilleri for 3k. As well as you guys can see, I decided to send Hendrix to the, the trade pile. Uh, again, it basically came down to speed. He's only got 85 skating. Uh, when I got him, he actually had a, um, a train card on him, so I didn't realize he was that slow, but... Uh, what are you going to do? And right here, guys, decided to buy Pecorine. Uh, I wasn't really a big fan of Kipper, so now I'm going to go with Rene and uh, Lettinen. I wasn't actually sure about Lettinen, but Lettinen's been playing really well for me. And um, I know, I think in the past, he didn't play too well, but 
I know it sounds really weird, but Lightning's been playing really well for me, so I decided to keep him. And I mean, Hut, you know, sometimes you just kind of feel like that with a player. Sometimes they're not playing too good, and you, you're about to get rid of them. Sometimes they play better, and you decide to keep them. And I like the card change, just, you know, maybe how you play. But anyway, guys, in this game, went up one nothing. That scored a nice goal there from Zajac, fourth line producing. And then another goal there from Kessler, making it 3 nothing. And unfortunately, uh, he quit, but we got the win. Right there, I sold Kopitar for 10k. Didn't actually realize he was worth that much. I think he might be worth even more now. I also sold the Kipper for, I think, 6 or 6.5k. So I actually got, I think, 12k from the Ben Bishop trade. I only bought the Bishop for 7.5 or 8k. I really don't like how in NHL, it doesn't tell you how much you bought a player for. Because it's really hard to remember the exact prices of everybody that you bought them for. But what are you going to do? Right here, guys, uh, sold my buff again for 15k. Uh, really happy with that deal. I think that's, you know, a fair... Uh, price for Buffaligan and glad I sold him. Like I said, wasn't a big fan of him, but I got Buffaligan and Sedin for the Carlson, so you know that was definitely a good trade for me. And uh, as you can see right here, we're going into another game, and I think most of our team is set up right now. I think I'm just waiting on a couple more guys. And as you can see, we went down one nothing there halfway through the first though. Nice shot there from Simmons. Kessler's able to get the puck, put it five hole, making it one one. Right here, big stop for Mina. Unfortunately, again. Uh, just, you know, bad bad decisions, playing the puck in the wrong time. But um, luckily right there, Jack Johnson stepping it up, making it 2-2. And then right here, 30 seconds left in the third. Uh, big wind-up there from uh, number 12. I believe that was Simone Gagne, yeah, getting the goal. So nice goal there at the late in the game to uh, give us the win, 3-2. And after that, guys, you can see I actually sold my Petrol Angel for 13.5k. I think, again, that's a good deal. I actually got a really good deal on my Petrol Angel, though, bomb for just over 8k. So 5k profit on Petrol Angel, though, after using him for, you know, about a month or so. That's really good. Usually, if you use a player for any more than two weeks, you're not going to get the value back. So really glad I did. If you guys seen there, I actually bought a Henrik Zetterberg at the left wing position for about 45k. Wasn't really fond of him at center. Uh, he, you know, he's naturally a left wing and hot, but he's played center in real life. So I thought he'd be good at center, but his face-off skills is not as good as I wanted it to be. So bought the left wing Zetterberg uh, to replace Corey Conacher, and then I moved Kessler up to the second line, and then I bought Vermette, who I actually sold, but I bought another Vermette to uh, go back on the third line center line. Vermette's, you know, been, played great for me in the past, and I basically just didn't need him with Kessler there, but now that Kessler's on the second line, I got Vermette back, and he scored a goal in his first game, so that's really good. And I think Vermette, you know, anyone who doesn't have a good third line center, Vermette is probably your best option. And anyway, guys, because of that, you know, obviously, Conacher's in the trade pile. And uh, right here are the new lineups. So as you can see, this is the team I'm basically going with. Uh, Hall, Gretzky, Duchesne, Havlat, Kessler, Zetterberg, Gagne, Vermette, Simmons, Wheeler, Zajac, Kunitz. As well, you guys can see, I actually took the captain card off of Gretzky and put it on Kessler. Uh, simple reason for that, guys. I was talking to my friend about it, and, like, you know, I always thought it's kind of dumb how I had my captain card on Gretzky because he already had 99 hands, and he already had, like, 98 uh, skating or shooting. So he would only, instead of getting plus 10, he actually only got, like, plus 7. And he's already the best player. So I figured to put it on Kessler. Uh, just, you know, give that second line some added attributes. The assistant captain I still have on Cromwell, and the second assistant captain, if you guys remember, I bought. I decided to put on Duchesne. Since Gretzky got rid of his captain card, I wanted uh, one of the players on the first line to have an A, so I gave it to Duchesne. It really helped him out. Duchesne was playing great. I thought he deserved it. He's been playing even better now with those added attributes. Right here, guys, are all the lines, obviously, so team's looking really good. Right there, I sold my Pavelski for 3K, and I still have that Henrik Zetterberg uh, center position to sell. And as you guys can see right here, just going to go into a final game uh, before the episode is over. So that's the full team, guys. I think, like I said, all we have left to sell is the center, Hedrick Zetterberg. Uh, the rest of the guys we sold, I'm pretty sure I sold every, uh, showed every one that I sold. Uh, I, I think, uh... I don't think I showed uh, Bowman Stewart, but I sold him for 3.5k, as well I sold that Danny Heatley, if you guys remember, for 8k. So, anyway guys, that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I know there hasn't been one for about a week or so. That's just because I've been really busy, guys, trying to, trying to make those other videos. And uh, yesterday I was actually at a friend, so I had this video edited but not commentated. So, sorry about that, but uh, don't worry. I'm going to try to get at least you know one or two episodes out this week. I'm done school now, so road to glory. You know, Expect it more often. Besides that, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it, and have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.